on your iPad, you're going to click on the folder that says Dash, and to open Blockly, you just click on Blockly. And when you first open it up, you'll see this. So go ahead and press the arrow. And that little circling motion above the plus symbol means that it's looking for a robot to connect to right now. And if it doesn't find one, it'll just keep searching like that. If I click on it, it will search for a robot. You need to find the robot that I've selected for you. Please do not choose any other robot. But as you can see right now, I don't have any robots turned on. So once you've selected on your robot, you're now connected to and controlling your robot. And this is not what you're going to see when you first turn it on, so let me take you back there. I want you to first work through the puzzles, and you're going to click on Dash. We don't have Dot right now, and you can see I've completed three out of ten puzzles. You'll start with Driver's Training, which is the one over on the left. You'll select that, and you'll walk through exactly what it wants you to do. All right. So let me go back. Just to show you, once you get moving in um, Blockly, let me very quickly show you how um, the blocks move around. So here's a program that I'm currently working on. And if I wanted to change some of the blocks, let's say this block here I don't want, first of all, this dash block. If I want to get rid of it, all I have to do is press it, select it, and hold my finger down. You'll notice the trash can appears in the right-hand corner. And if I hover the block over the trash can, it will disappear. The trash can opens up and it's, it's gone. Let's say down here, I wanted to do something in between wait for dash, top button, and all lights. If I click on all lights, every block that's attached below it will come with it. So if I want to insert something in between two blocks, I select the bottom block. That way I can move it out of the way. I can then add the block that I want. And let's say I want to insert a different block, which is going to make him look up. I just click on that block. That's the one that I want. I can change. You'll see all this when you go through the tutorial. I don't need to show you this. <laughs> anyway, when you go through the puzzles, I put that block in there. And now I reselect the top block of all the ones I want to move back in. And now that new block is there. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to throw away that block because I really don't want it in my program. I don't want to mess it up. Um, other than that, I think the system does a pretty good job of walking you through all the different types of blocks and all the different ways you can connect them. I just wanted to make sure you had some idea um, of how to move them around before we got started.